The Sumatra has the following features. Vango Lifetime Guarantee. Protex CM 1500 cotton and polyester fabric with all the benefits of cotton but lighter weight. Powerlight alloy poles. Light, flexible and durable. Fly sheet first pitching keeps the inner tent dry. Sewn in ground sheet. Fully enclosed to protect against drafts and bugs. Mesh vents on inners allow continual airflow. Double zip windows, allowing choice between light only, vent only or both. Matching accessories include sleeping bags, furniture, wind brakes and sun canopies. Oversized carry bag for ease of packing and transport. Assemble the poles and lay them out in the ground. There are five poles. Two long poles for forming the main dome, colour-coded black. One medium grey pole to form the bedroom, one short porch pole and one short bedroom brow pole. The poles are colour-coded to match the corresponding pole sleeve entry points. Open out the fly sheet and position it in the required direction. Insert the poles through the pole sleeves on the outside of the fly sheet making sure that the colour-coded poles and the pole lengths match. Loosen the tension straps and locate the end of each long diagonal pole at the front of the tent into the metal pin system attached to the ground sheet. Follow the fly sheet seam down to find the correct pin system. Push these poles into an arch from the opposite ends and locate the pole ends in the corresponding metal pin. To avoid excess strain on the poles and tent material, it's advisable to have assistance to hold these poles upright when forming the dome. Push the grey bedroom pole into an arch and locate it into the pin systems. Insert the bedroom brow pole. Locate the ends into the brass eyelets. Clip all the fly sheet pole clips to the inserted poles and tighten the tension straps. Start pegging out the tent at the front corners using steel V-pegs. The pegs should be positioned at a 45 degree angle to ensure maximum grip. Pull the tent backwards until taut and peg out the rear corners with V-pegs. Ensure that the sides and rear of the tent form straight lines and the ground sheet is flat and wrinkle free. Adjust and re-peg any corners where the ground sheet is creased. Peg out any remaining poles and pegging points using steel V-pegs through the plastic D-rings and pin pegs at the base of the poles. The ground sheet can be pegged out at the doors with a pin peg through the corner elastics. Peg out all the guy lines using pin pegs, ensuring that the guy line fabric attachment points are evenly tensioned. Insert the porch brow pole and put its ends into the eyelets on the dome pole sleeve. The fillet at the end of the brow pole should be pegged towards the front corners of the tent. The inner is sewn into the ground sheet for ease of pitching. Suspend the inner by attaching the clips on the inner tent to the rings on the inside of the fly sheet. Do the rear first and work towards the front. Using the red webbing strap, connect the black tensioning strap to the roof of the tent. Finally, connect the parts of the pelmet using the Velcro tabs. Taking the tent down is the reverse of putting it up. Remove the inner tent. Unpeg the guy lines. Remove the porch pole. Remove the bedroom brow pole. Unpeg all the pegging points. Release the pins from the poles. 
push the poles out of the sleeves. Fold the inners and the fly sheet to fit the bag and pack away.